Yo, what is popping YouTube? It's your boy, Demi Baby. I'm back with another video, man. How you guys doing? I hope you're having a good and blessed day. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Serge Ibaka and what happened in his NBA career. If you are new, please be sure to enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started for today's video. What if I could tell you there's one player in the NBA people really forgot about? Who would you say? James Harden? Blake Griffin? Who else? Well, in today's video, let's find out. As for all those NBA players I mentioned, I was looking to a player that played back in the day that I liked watching beforehand that has truly fallen off today and that is truly, ladies and gentlemen, the player of Serge Ibaka. The greatest player the Raptors could ever ask for and for even being the Golden State Warriors. But that player today is Serge Ibaka and let's talk about his time and success in the NBA and why he fell off and what happened. Serge Ibaka is a 6 foot 10 forward out of Congo who can do many things for you, you can block shots, shoot threes, and play excellent defense around the rim. He is basically like your stretch rim protector on the court like a Miles Turner or anyone else in today's NBA and a defense around the rim was like anything you'd ever ask for. Like I said right now, he was like more of a Miles Turner or Anthony Davis in his prime as he can do many things for you. As for a reason why I'm making this video as for Serge Ibaka now because his career has set back to a point where it is truly not really noticeable as he went on teams like the Bucks and Clippers now who he has had no use on and he's playing behind centers that truly fit their team style of play. And let's talk about in today's video Serge Ibaka's time in Toronto, Milwaukee and other teams he played on to where he played many years of his career in the NBA. So if you're wondering what happened today, let's find out. But my thoughts on Serge Ibaka as I already said already, he's a very solid role player, he's a polished veteran leader, and he's a good role model to a world class of art and other people in the world. But he's very liked around the NBA. As for Serge Ibaka in 2008, coming from Europe, he had drafted the 24th pick in the NBA draft in the first round. Serge Ibaka was basically the rim protector Oklahoma City needed as they needed a front line in the center rotation. As for Serge Ibaka for his rookie season, he was very efficient, giving you 6.3 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks as he would lead rookies in that stat category. For Serge Ibaka, he had many of achievements that year as he had been in the dunk contest, he got 7 blocks in a playoff game, and he basically was a rookie coming from playing in Europe and over for a while. And Serge Ibaka was basically that rim protector you needed as for a hidden project. As for Serge Ibaka was him being with Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and himself was truly a, a trio in Oklahoma City Thunder that was truly something to be scared of. But as for here, for his rookie year for Serge Ibaka, Serge Ibaka's efficiency was very used to good use as for Serge Ibaka was playing so well at a young age. As for the NBA lockout, Serge came back after playing in Spain for a while as he was in his sophomore season with the Oklahoma City Thunder with a good Oklahoma City Thunder team at the time. As for Serge Ibaka, he's on a loaded Oklahoma City Thunder team as always. As for the award, basically he could have won Defensive Player of the Year, but that won the Tyson Challenge of the New York Knicks. As for one of his great games he had this season was when he had a triple double versus the Denver Nuggets and this was in February of 2012 on the 19th. Serge Ibaka got you 14 points, 15 rebounds, and a career high 11 blocks. Serge Ibaka, we all know he's the NBA leader in blocks. As for Serge, we know he led the NBA in block at 3.6 a game, and he's played many times alongside Kenneth Perkins in the OKC lineup as he was playing the power forward position. As for a playoff now in game 4 of the Western Conference Finals, Serge Ibaka had a very insightful game as he basically went 11 11 from the field, and basically, this was when the Oakland City Thunder made it to the NBA Finals that year after winning in six games. After Sir Ibaka, he got an extension of $48 million because his great play and high potential and upside on the team. In the 2013-2014 season, Ibaka's scoring average was on the rise. He had a jump of 9.1 points to 13.2 points a game while still being on the Oklahoma City roster. As for Serge Ibaka again, he was in the Defensive Player of the Year voting again, but that player went to Marcus Gasol instead of him or LeBron James. Ibaka led the league in blocks again and he was giving you 12.8 points, 8.4 rebounds and 3 blocks in the playoffs to where the Thunder had a short playoff run. But Serge Ibaka wasn't as bad as you thought he was. 
But basically, to be short, what happened here after this season in the 2014 season with the Thunder, then after the last game he played in Oklahoma City Thunder that he was good in, he gave you 21 points and 22 rebounds on March 17th of 2015, and he was basically out with right knee soreness afterwards. Serge Ibaka, all right, he's 26 years old, he's big, he can block shots and shoot the three, the Thunder get... Victor Oladipo back on back up Irsan Ilasova and the man the Magic drafted tonight Demontis Sabonis right there he was drafted 11th overall Magic fans you may be scratching your heads but trust me this is a big deal and a good deal. As I said at Baca he then got traded to Orlando for basically the Victor Oladipo trade and he didn't really fit in there as he was playing alongside an all-star center in Nikola Vucevic and it's in the 2016-2017 season. As for what happened here for Serge Ibaka being in the Magic, this was basically down for his career. And as for what happened on the Magic, it was very scary for Serge's career and basically started a downfall. As for Serge Ibaka, from 2017 to 2020, he had played the Toronto Raptors. But for Serge Ibaka, he got traded to Toronto for Terrence Ross and basically, I'm pretty sure, another pick which is very much a better fit for him. So Jabaka for the Raptors, he could do many things for you as they need a rim protector, as he's a forward that could play basically with any center they had on the roster, whether it was with Jonas Valanciunas or Marcus Gasol for when they won the championship. So Jabaka basically made his debut against the Celtics, and he gave you 15 points, and basically had a good game. And basically for Sura Baca, he's basically that point of attack for you, as he's a good pick and pop guy that he would lead the Raptors to basically a good lineup. As for Sura Baco, he is very consistent and basically he's a very class and phenomenal act on the court. But yeah, as for Sura Baco, he's a very consistent center and basically he did everything you could ask him to. As for Sura Baco, who had a one year contract for the Raptors after being traded, he then got a well deserved extension. This was an extension of $65 million, I think, in that threshold in July of 2017. In 2018, Sura Baco had 34 points versus the LA Lakers. And he went 15 to 17 from the field, and he's the first player to do this as he started a good 14 of 14 from the field. And his last record that broke this was Shaq back in 2006. Abaka basically on the Raptors, he was a double double machine, and he basically had almost six double doubles in his career. I'm here with Fun Guy. We're tomorrow. Fun Guy, what's up, baby? What it do, baby? Yeah, yo, what do you know? This is, uh, yeah. As for Serge Ibaka, he was a key part to the Raptors in winning against the Warriors because he was basically a threat of offense off the bench and he would basically be that center to basically have a spark off the bench unit. Shot clock down, Oladipo driving, shot goes and go! Pascal, Lowry, Ibaka for the win! Out here, a remarkable situation, and that extra pass off the Siakam penetration. Abaka was key for the Raptors' basically 12 game winning streak as he hit the game winning three to make this the best stretch in team history. Abaka had a career on the Raptors to where he could almost have a home. Then, now in 2023, Abaka wanted to come back to the Raptors but there's no long-term flexibility. But they wanted to sign Gasol first, and they wanted to sign Marc Gasol first, as they could have gave him a cheaper deal. But for the Raptors, they wanted to bring back Serge, but their off-season cap flexibility meant they would have to offer Serge Ibaka a short-term contract with a pay cut on it, and he would have to have a one-year deal, which meant nothing to Serge Ibaka's future with the team. Then, basically, the Raptors, as they wanted to sign Yon, they didn't do it, and basically, they let Serge Ibaka and Marc Gasol walk at the time. After Serge Ibaka, he loved Toronto, he didn't think he would even leave there. But for Serge Ibaka, he then would join his former teammate in Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers on November 25th on a loaded Clippers team. On the Clippers, he didn't really get much of a starting role, as he dealt with injuries and had a decline in his play. But basically, that means Serge Ibaka would have to play behind centers on the team for basically guys like Abika Dubak and basically Isaiah Harkenstein. But for Serge Ibaka, he didn't get enough play time, nor he didn't get enough time to play the Clippers, as they were basically a team dealing with injuries and navigating their time throughout the playoffs. Then later on, Serge Ibaka would then get traded to Milwaukee Bucks, and it would be a trade for Rodney Hood and Femi Ojale. He then never really had a use on his Bucks team, as for Serge Ibaka, he never really served a purpose on his Bucks team, as he would play behind Brooke Lopez and Bobby Portis, and basically, 
he would be getting bench warmer minutes across the board. Serge Ibaka isn't better than these guys and he basically served no use to his team as of right now as they're a loaded Bucks team with championship aspirations. And then it doesn't make any sense as he signed another extension with them with no change of scenery to revive his career. And basically what happened with Serge Ibaka basically for his time in the Bucks and the Clippers was basically a decline and basically no use in his career. As for Serge Ibaka, he's done a lot in his NBA career and basically in his international career as well as he played with Spain and many other teams in the international side. As for Serge Ibaka for a time on Oklahoma City, he's very much used correctly. As for what happened in his prime years now, they're all gone the player and for their teams like the Clippers and the Bucks, he really had no use and long term plans on. Basically for the Bucks and the Clippers, they have younger players that can suit their play style and is more healthy and durable than Ibaka. So basically that's what's truly happened to Serge Ibaka's career as he fell off by a long shot. As he's older now and his production isn't really much the same as it was before. As for basically now he's really close to retirement. As for now, Serge Ibaka is basically close to retirement. As he is at the age of 33 now, to where basically he fairly regressed his career. And basically that's a story on Serge Ibaka and for what happened in his career. And that's what happened for Serge Ibaka in his NBA career. So if y'all like this video, like this video and basically there's more content coming on the way. I didn't put my face cam out because I do a full script. What about my face cam out for next video? So if you are new, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content. And basically that's what happened with Serge Ibaka for a time on Oklahoma City Thunder, the Raptors, the Bucks, and the Clippers. And if you all enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like on this video and your boy me baby and we're already at 300 subscribers i thank you all very much for support and love and i have a and i already have a 300 subscriber video saying thank you so y'all can check it out and like i said my instagram got hacked so i'll leave it here in this video and y'all can follow me there and it's your boy Dean baby and i'm out peace